Wish Pablo luck, guys. Smash the like for Pablo. He'll pull through. If I get eaten by my monster bass, here's my will, guys. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. I need help. Buff fish guy, where you at? Oh my god. Like, look at this giant. Look at the speckling. Like, that is... That's a couple sandwiches right there. Like... fam today is going to be epic we are moving a mega crappie this fish just needs to be admired in a fish tank this mega crappie is uh in my 1100 gallon pond right behind me so i gotta go in and get him oh i almost forgot check out this sick shirt guys max monster fish thanks to my boy matt over at max monster fish check him out we got some moving of fish and stuff to do in the fish room so let's take care of that Cool little quiz for you guys in this video, make it interesting. At the end of this video, let me know, how many times did I change shirts in this entire video? It'll probably blow your mind. All right guys, first person cam, Benji the Bengal. Walk out here, we just got back from bouncing trampoline park. Well, look at this guys, what, what? I gotta tell you something very important about these items that we got today. All right guys, something very important you guys need to know. Plants I've been using forever now, not the specific one, but the specific brand, Deep Blue's Aquaflora. My girls at the fish cave just told me today, these are going away, guys. Grab them while you can. They're the literally the most, they're my favorite artificial plants to use. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Let me get into character, let me clean up, and we're gonna start making this tank look insane. Before I do that, guys, check this beautiful piece of Malaysian driftwood out that I got. It is so nice. All right, guys, I am back. I am cleaned up. I am ready to go rocking the sick SC Fish Keeping merch for my brother Zach over at SC Fish Keeping. Check him out, man. I love Zach's channel. First thing we're going to do is get substrate in this tank, okay? It had crushed coral in it. I took all the crushed coral out. We're going to put black diamond blasting media in here. This light's actually be, going to be coming off. We're going to be going with a little bit of a lower light setup as we put some for wild caught fish in here. It's going to be super sick. Now I'm leaving this water level low because as we add substrate and add things like driftwood to the tank and rocks, that water level is slowly going to start to rise again. Now with uh, Malaysian driftwood and some other driftwood guys, be aware you have two options. You can pre-soak it for a while because it's going to turn the water kind of an amber color, kind of like one of those black water aquarium looking things. I don't have the patience for that. So I'm going to let the driftwood turn this aquarium the amber color, but through water changes, that's going to continuously go away. And it'll give it kind of a natural look. So let's do this. We have the substrate in. I am going to add a little bit more. Um, there's some paint marks back there that you can't see it right there. I just want to get the substrate up enough to cover that. Um, you can see some of the other stones and stuff that were mixed in. We're going to mix in some pond rock as well, which is going to look super cool. All right, guys. So here's our mini monster grow out tank where we have our tin foil barbs, um, our red hooks, and our savage little koi fish who's just kind of become part of the family in here. He wasn't supposed to stay in there, but he's been in there so long, I really don't have any reason to take him out. So I figured while we're waiting for this water to settle over here, we can get these thrown in. So I got this, you know, somewhat done. I still need to kind of make it match this end over here. You see I have some nice, bigger decorative rock, some other little tiny plants right here in the front. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Oh, there's where Luma's shoveling his cat right there, getting big. But I'm looking pretty cool. I'm a cemetery person. And already, the difference I can see is these plants are spaced out a little bit too much. So I'm gonna slide those over, but that'll just be for an entirely different video. Here is what I've came up with so far. I don't know if I like the plants in there or not. I might end up taking those plants out and then adding a bunch more Malaysian driftwood just everywhere, make it pretty 
super cool. I think that would be pretty legit. Now we gotta get this thing prepped to get our big monster fish in. Here is Megalodon. Look at the freaking size this guy has put on. It's just absolutely insane. Look at a big old whale. We're gonna be taking these bluegill out. We have Sledge. We're gonna be taking Pablo out. Like I said, we're gonna be removing the two small bluegill out here. The two small bluegill are gonna go into the wooden pond out here where I house a lot of small bluegill. Why are we taking Pablo out of the 125 though? I just noticed something on Pablo guys and I have to act quick. He's got some salt like crystals on his body. Ick. It can happen for a, a multitude of different reasons. A big cause of ick is stress. So uh, maybe adding too many fish at once. Adding new equipment to the tank, a lot of new decorations, anything that can stress the fish out. Bad water quality can stress the fish out. Um, a fish, picking on that fish can cause ick. I know it caused ick in this situation. And it looks like when the lights go out, Sledge and Pablo are kind of battling for space. But they do just fine when the lights are on, it's just strange. So I'm gonna remove Pablo, put him actually in this brand new tank that we just created. Let him just get calm, you know, Paku are a very skittish fish and um, they get stressed out very easily. So we're gonna remove him. I don't see any signs of kick on any of the other fish. Okay guys, so we got Pablo out of the 125. It's pretty easy, bigger fish are easier to catch. He's now in here looking super good, um, but as you can see, He's got some ick on him. Everything is taken care of in here and we are ready to bring Megalocrappy in. We got Sledge, our largemouth bass. We got Megalodon, the red tail catfish. Poor Pablo has moved to his own tank to get better. Wish Pablo luck guys, smash the like for Pablo. He'll pull through because his keeper is a boss. Isn't that right, Pablo? Give me a fin wag if, yep, fin wag, he knows I'm a boss. All right guys. I'm going in. It's time to catch Megalocrappy. If I get eaten by my monster bass, here's my will, guys. Send my monster bass to Evan Alexander IFG. Send Megalocrappy to Matt's Monster Fish. Send Sledge to Zach over at SC Fishkeeping. Send my red tailed catfish to my brother Mel, the Hawaiian peacock, because he needs a huge fish. And then after that, just come raid my house, whoever else wants anything. We gotta get Megalocrappy. This is gonna be pretty interesting. So Megalocrappy's back here. Everyone's kind of stacked up. He's actually right here. I don't know if you could see this mammoth, but I'm gonna try and scoop him gently. And then, oh, almost had him there. Come on, big boy, come on, come on. There you go. All right, guys, we got Megalocrappy. Now, what I don't wanna do is I don't want to um, I don't want to uh, yank on him with the net. I don't even really want him to know that he's caught right now. So we got Megalocrappy in his bucket. Oh my goodness. He's in a huge acclimation bucket. We got a pet bass, man. He is huge. We got a bunch of crappie in here, a bunch of bluegill. I actually do need to get in here and find the uh, green sunfish. I want green sunfish too. I know you do. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, I need help. Buck fish guy, where you at? I need your muscles, bro. Oh my God. Oh. Megalocrappy has been transported successfully. Acclimation time. All right, guys, time to acclimate Megalocrappy. Oh my God, look how big he is. Look. How big, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. So there we go, I'm gonna do two cupfuls about every 10 minutes for the next probably hour. And I hope you guys stay tuned for the entire hour. I'm just kidding guys, I'm gonna edit that out. I don't do that. You know me better than that. It's time for a shirt change. All right guys, I'm back. And the time has come for Megalocrappy, the commander of the Megalocrappy Association to go into this ginormous glass box so we can see him in all his glory. So I've made a couple adjustments as you can see here to Megalotank. I've added these two um, fake grass structures with some rock piles in the middle um, as well as some small rock piles on both ends. I did this because uh, Sledge likes hanging on rock piles just like they do in the wild. He likes to back up 
and sit up on rock piles. Megalodon also likes to sit up on rock piles as you can see. So what I did was created ample rock piles here so that we do not have um, any of these fish fighting. What do you think about that crappie, bud? Okay. I would say the same thing if I was little too. I'd be like, whoa, huge crappie. Get him out of my face, he's too big. Okay guys, the time has come to get Gigantonius, the Megalo monster crappie, which is now gonna be the biggest fish in this monster tank, into this tank. You can see Sledge right now, he knows what's up. He's like, you better not be putting somebody bigger in here than me. But uh, that's what's about to happen. So let me get in here. I need your lip, buddy, I need your lip. I need your lip, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, look at the freaking size of this mega crappie, guys. We gotta get him in. So, I'm one handing it. Look at this mega crappie. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at the size of him. Insane. Let's get him in the water here. Try and slowly let him go. Come on, come on. It's alright, buddy. It's okay. Oh my god. Look how sick he looks, guys. What a freaking savage. Look how big. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a tank. He is such a freaking tank. I think Sledge is mad at me. He, he won't even look at me. He's like, really, dude? Really? You put somebody in here bigger than me? Like, come on, dude. Look at the size, guys. Look at the size on this. Sledge is pissed. He just freaking kicked up a bunch of sand. Like, dude, screw you, owner. Like, you, you, I'm gonna make you clean this tank even more. Look at the. F I, I, I'm speechless, guys. Like, I need to set up a lounge chair in here now so I can just watch this 24 7. Like, look at this giant. Look at the speckling. Like, that is. That's a couple sandwiches right there. Like, this is just incredible, guys. I am so freaking stoked. That is a huge, huge crappie. Huge, wild fish, guys. Caught out of disgusting ponds and saved here in the unconventional house. Okay, guys, so huge things have been happening. There will be huge things continuing to happen because look, guys, Unconventional Aquatics, even at 3.3 thousand subscribers, I'm just getting started, guys. Just getting started. Like, there is there is no end. Because, I, look, I can't let you guys down. There's no end. Look at that. There's Scarface. I got these guys all finally transitioned onto Tilapia. Scarface, look at the bluegill and natural daylight. Oh my god, so sick. And then we got Rocky, the rock bass, added some more grass out of the pond. This thing is sick. So guys, like I said, not stopping anytime soon. I love every single one of you guys for stopping in. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And any engagement that you can give me, whether that's a like, a comment, a dislike, a share, I love it because it helps me out. So thank you guys. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next crazy adventure.